This is the story of Eliana, an ordinary teenager who had to face extraordinary challenges. Or was she really ordinary? Do you think everyone has a superpower? And most people just don't know it. Maybe that person can read minds. Maybe that person can run super fast. Maybe that person can see what no one else can see. I'm Eliana. Could I have a superpower too? This was me before. Back then, I was just a normal kid. I liked school, loved my friends, loved my family, loved basketball. Life was great, and I was lucky. Then, one day I got a cold. At first, it was no big deal. It was just a cold. But the cold didn't go away. So I went to a doctor, and then another doctor, and another doctor. None of them could figure out what was going on. They told me to go to Children's Hospital Colorado, where they had some doctors who might be able to help me. At first, the doctor thought it was a tear in my kidney. No one wants to hear that something is wrong with them, but a tear is fixable. We weren't really that worried. I was about to leave the hospital when they told me I had to have a biopsy. That's where they put you under and they take a piece of tissue. I remember waking up from the anesthesia and the doctors in the room were really worried. That's when I knew something was wrong. My doctor walked into my room and told my mom, As you know, Ileana's being admitted to the hospital. She's in kidney failure. No. I'm so sorry. This is where my epic journey started. Everything in my life turned upside down with that one hospital visit. At this point, my kidneys were only functioning at 17%, and that was dropping. Everyone was in shock. My parents and I had a lot of decisions to make right away. Most importantly, we had to decide what kind of dialysis to go on. I didn't even know what dialysis is. Apparently, it's when the machines do the work for your kidneys. And then I found out I had this pretty rare disease called IgA. Two days after my surgery for the biopsy, the IgA attacked my lungs, and I could no longer breathe on my own. I had to be on a machine for 10 days to help me breathe. The machines were on my face, and I couldn't talk. It was really scary because no one really knew how to fix my infection. That's when my doctor swooped in to save the day. She did all this research and came up with a plan no one had tested before. It wasn't in a textbook anywhere. Like all true heroes, she gave it everything she had to save my life. And guess what? It worked. Things were looking up, and we thought I was getting better. But then I caught a low-grade pneumonia. All these setbacks meant that I was in the hospital for almost 30 days. Because I was in such a serious condition, it wasn't safe for me to leave my room. I couldn't even go to the cafeteria. Life became a routine of restrictions. Who could visit? Where I could go? What I could eat? I was always hungry. People tried really hard to make me feel better. I started to feel really down. My life had been going along just fine. And then BAM! Everything changed and I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know what was going to happen to me. One night, I looked at my nurse, Beth. No matter how depressed I was, she always had a smile on her face. I went to sleep that night wishing I could be more like Beth. As I was falling asleep, I noticed a strange show on my TV. Something about seashells in the England. Material in the world. Watch as the limpet clings to the rocks off the English coast as waves crash, trying to flush the limpet. Why can't I be more like you, Beth? What do you mean? You're so happy all the time. How do you do it? Do you want to hear a secret? Yes. When I was about your age, I was going through a challenge, too. Someone presented me with two objects, and I got to choose which one I wanted. I could carry the object with me wherever I went. And when I had that object with me, I took on the characteristics of it. So today's your lucky day. I'm going to do the same thing for you. I thought it was weird that she had a diamond in her pocket. 
but then I remembered that it was a dream. This is a diamond. It's the second hardest mineral on Earth. If you carry it with you, you'll be strong. That sounds awesome. I want a diamond. But I haven't shown you the other object yet. Remember, a diamond isn't a living thing. With the diamond, you get strength the same way it does. You don't have to do anything to get it, you just have it. But the diamond doesn't make its own strength. This is the other object. Ew, what is that? This is a limpet. It's a kind of seashell that lives on rocks next to the ocean in England. When strong waves splash onto the rocks, limpets hold on super, super tight. Limpets are the strongest living material in the world. Limpets create their own strength from within. It is much more difficult to be strong on your own. But like a limpet, you're not limited to how much strength you can create for yourself. So which one would you like? The one that gives you immediate but limited super strength? Or the one that gives you unlimited super strength but you have to make it all by yourself? I woke up from my dream before I could answer. I thought about that dream for a long time. The diamond or the limpet? Take the strength of something else or learn to make my own? This dream made me realize that I needed to start thinking about my illness in a different way. I knew I had to be strong. If I wasn't strong, I would, well, that wasn't an option. That day, I decided to be like the limpet and create my own strength from within. After those 30 days in the hospital, I was ready to go home with my new attitude. I thought my journey was over when I left the hospital that day, but really, it was far from over. I went home and started dialysis, but we knew this was only a temporary solution. If I wanted to live a long life, I needed a kidney transplant. No one in my family was a match, so I'd have to go on a donor list. But before I could do that, I had to get my body ready to go on the donor list. I had to learn to say no, a lot. When things got hard, I remembered that it was all just to try to be normal again. I wanted to be strong like a limpet, and a lot of people encouraged me to be that way. I went to the kidney center a lot. The people there were awesome. They always asked me what was going on in my life, about math or volleyball. They cared about me as a person, not just some kid who was their problem. I also had to get immunizations most kids will never have to get. The dentist had to look at my teeth. I even had to see a psychologist. Then one day, I got to go on the kidney transplant list. So we just went about our lives. Then, on March 8th, everything turned around. I was playing in a volleyball tournament. My dad's phone rang. Once I finished my volleyball game, we rushed home, grabbed my stuff, and race to Children's Colorado. That's my new kidney. As soon as I woke up from the anesthesia, I felt different. I felt so much healthier, but I felt weird. 
Something did not feel right. And then I realized everything wasn't okay. I had just fought so hard to get here, to get a kidney. I had been through so many trials. But now, I had to start back at square one. I was going to have to go through it all over again. All the meds, the time in the hospital, missing so much school. My immune system was so low, I couldn't hang out with my friends. I wanted to feel happy, but I wasn't. I was so tired of everything I'd been through, and I couldn't imagine that I had to go through any more. I fell into a deep depression that day, and I didn't know how to get out of it. I started crying. I just couldn't imagine that I had any strength left to fight. Maybe I should have been more like the diamond, and relied on something else for my strength. It's too hard to try to create your own strength. Maybe I wasn't a superhero with super strength. Maybe I was just an ordinary kid who didn't have it in her to do this. The next day, our friend came to see me. Hey, Eliana, I thought you could use a friend. Thank you. What's that? I saw this the other day when I was shopping, and I thought of you. I don't know why. That's when I knew that I had to be stronger than I've ever been in my whole life. Because the fact was, I didn't really have a choice. If I wanted to live, I had to keep fighting. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me. I know you can do this. You're the strongest person I know. I was in the hospital for three days and I missed seven weeks of school. I worked harder than I ever have in my whole life. Then, one day, they told me I could wear jeans again. They told me I could go back to school. And after two years of not being able to swim in a lake, I got to. I was a normal kid again. While I was sick, I focused on trying to harness my own superpower of inner strength. Now, I see that the whole time, there were superheroes all around me. There was the nurse who was always having fun. The Kidney Center made everyone feel like family. The people at the hospital listened to my mom and made her forget about her stress. My doctors never gave up. My mom cooked food that tasted like a restaurant. My dad stayed calm, no matter what. I think everyone has the power within them to choose how they're going to handle a situation. Everyone can choose to be like the limpet and create their own strength. Everyone can choose to live each day thankful they are here. I'm Eliana, and I'm a superhero because I have super strength. But that's because I chose to have it.